The mushrooms contain psilocybin, which hydrolyzes in the body very quickly, to psilocin, which is the active component. Some mushrooms contain the compound with only one methyl group, it's called baocysteine. There's a chemical resemblance between these materials and the neurotransmitter serotonin. It's a very interesting balance of, of neurotransmitter in the body to uh, mushrooms. Namely, they are very, very similar, except that the, um, the serotonin has a hydroxy group at the 5, and uh, psilocin has a hydroxy group at the 4 position of the indole ring. My interest in the, in the area of, of psilocybin, psilocin-like materials came from my general interest in tryptamines. I've always been very keenly uh, amazed how many of the psychoactive materials are either phenethylamines or tryptamines. I see probably 95% or more are one of these two families. And instrumental in the tryptamine world, you have DMT, which I mentioned, it's found in many, many different plants. And interestingly, although it's a Schedule One drug, it's also found in the human brain, the human spinal system. So I guess technically, uh, if any carrier of a Schedule One drug becomes a, a chargeable or arrestable as an illegal entity, you and I both are illegal entities because we carry it within the Schedule One drugs as natural material. Serotonin itself is an interesting uh, relationship to the 5-methoxytryptamines in the serotonin. Uh, is active if it's in the brain, but it can't get into the brain because it is metabolized or is too poor. The amino group is hydrolyzed off by a, my by a monoamine oxidase uh, enzyme, and the hydroxy group on the five position of the indole makes it uh, too water loving and won't get through the blood brain barrier to get in. So, uh, serotonin, although it's active in the brain, has to go in as a precursor and is generated in the brain. So, I had the idea of, of taking a the amino group blocking it from being hydrolyzed, putting a methyl group next to it, which would make the enzyme inactive, and block the OH group by making it a methoxy group, so again, five methoxy things, which would take away its polarity, and the compound is, I call it O-alpha, uh, uh, dimethyl serotonin, goes into the brain directly, and it's a very potent psychedelic, active for two, three, four milligrams. So here's again, going starting with serotonin and just modifying it in these little bits, gets materials that are active at the serotonin site, but have a different type of activity. Psilocin from the mushrooms go exactly in